Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Stav, and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. And you might be wondering, Stav, where are we going? What are we doing? Why are you in your vehicle? Well, I decided to do a video today showing you how different holsters work while I'm seated in a car and seat belted. Because I actually got a few questions about this recently on different platforms, so I thought, let's just do a video about it. So I'm gonna show you, I think I have like five holsters to show you, including like a thigh holster, a bag, uh, something in my waist, and we'll just see how they all work because it's important to know that you can get to your gun no matter where you are. And that includes in your vehicle. If you ever need to defend yourself in your vehicle, you gotta be able to get to your gun if you're carrying one for self-defense. So to help me out today, I have my blue gun shield it's a plastic replica of a gun it's not an actual firearm and we're gonna use this and I'm gonna see how I can draw out of different holsters before we get started I just wanted to remind you guys that we do have a she equips herself patreon community if you enjoy my content and you can spare three five or seven dollars a month there are different membership tiers and you'll get different perks based on which one you choose so just want to let you know we'd love to have you as part of that community but i'm gonna get started with the sticky holster i've been talking about these so much lately because i've been grabbing them on the go so often to carry just because it's so easy to slip into my waistband sticky holsters have this nice tacky sticky finish as your body warms up throughout the day as you're carrying it it becomes even stickier on your skin and so the gun comes out but the holster stays put inside your waistband um, whatever I have a discount code for companies that I really love I will include that in the description at the bottom of this video I know I have one for sticky holsters so if you guys want to try one out I think you get 10% off so that's gonna be in the description but let's see how this works while I'm seat belted inside the car all right <laughs> we're gonna stick it right in there where I'd normally carry it Seatbelts on for safety people. Always wear your seatbelt. Okay, I think I drove this last, not my husband, so it's adjusted for me. I'm just gonna move this down so I can show you guys. Okay, so I'm sitting in my car. I've got my seatbelt on. I made sure to untuck my shirt from the waist strap because when I put it on, it kind of tucked itself in there. So I just want that untucked so I can get to my gun if I need to. Let's see how long it takes me to draw my gun out of the sticky holster with a seatbelt on. All right, that's the draw time. Let's try it again. The thing about drawing a gun in the car is that you don't wanna be pointing it at yourself, but if the bad guy's over there, out of my left-hand side, I might have to sweep my legs. I just wanna see how long it takes to get the actual gun out. It's pretty quick out of the sticky. When you're drawing from a seated position, and we talk about this, hold on, let me, let me do this. <laughs> When you're drawing from a seated position, you don't wanna flag your legs. That's something that you wanna be really careful of. Of course, if you're in a stressful situation where you actually have to draw your gun to defend yourself or to defend someone else, then you're probably not gonna be thinking and you're just gonna react. So practicing these things is very important. And that is part of our Practical Handgun Academy, which is our live fire course. We have a whole module on seated, like shooting while seated, shooting while seated from different positions. So if you've never practiced it before, um, check out that online course. It's very helpful. It gives you a bunch of drills you can practice. But there are definitely things you need to be mindful of while you're drawing from a seated position. Flagging your legs is not super great. Um, so you can bring the gun up and then over depending on where you're going to shoot. But we go over that in the course. That's not the purpose of this video. I'm just showing you how the draw looks from different types of holsters. So let's continue. Okay, the next one we're going to do is a bag. This was one of the ones you guys asked about. So this is a U Koala bag. I also have a code for these. You can wear it three different ways. My favorite way to wear it is crossbody. And then it has a strap that goes around your leg. You guys have probably seen me talk about this before. And that's so that when you draw the gun out from the top of the bag, the bag doesn't come up with it. So I'm gonna put my blue gun in the holster that's in that pocket. It's a Velcro holster. It's strapped to my leg. And let's see how this works in the car. One reason I like this bag in the car is because if you have kids or other people with you, um, I don't like leaving my bag anywhere off my body. That's why I love this bag so much. I can just have it right on my leg. Let me show you how it sits. Um, it's just sitting right on my leg. I've got the leg strap 
holding it there and it's not uncomfortable it's just sitting right on top of my leg okay so i noticed a couple problems right off the bat first off i love that it's on me in the car it's not floating around where there are people or other people have access to it it has to be under my direct control at all times and this is a good way to do that um let me just close the zippers however i can't really get to it the seatbelt strap that goes over my waist is right on top of the part where I would draw my gun out. So getting the gun out would be quite challenging, especially because it's gonna come out like this. Uh, now an option you have, let me just see if I can even get it out. You definitely need two hands. No, because of the angle, it's just not working. What I would do if I were carrying like this in the car is I would just unbuckle the waist strap. That just allows for a bit of a better angle if you're gonna draw. Let's see if that works. Okay, that works. Um, it's a little awkward, not super easy to get the gun out of there while you're seated in the car. It's just a weird angle. So I'm gonna say that this one is not great for drawing while you're wearing it in the car. And that's how it goes sometimes. That's why it's important to know your gear and your gear's limitations. Okay, so I just put the corset holster on. Let's put the blue gun in here. It's nice and snug. You can tuck this in your pants or not, it's up to you. So, I've got the corset holster on. Let's buckle our seat belts for safety. When I was younger, my mom would never start the car unless we were seat belted. She kind of drilled that into my brain, which is a good thing. Always wear your seat belt. Okay, seat belts on. Um, again, I would untuck my tank top and like just make it a little bit easier to get to my gun if I needed to, if I was carrying this way in the car. So let's see if I can get my gun out. I have a feeling that the seat belt strap might get in the way. Oh. That was pleasantly surprising. That is actually not bad at all. I am shocked. I thought that this was going to be unsuccessful because of where the grip is and where the seatbelt lands. But that's actually pretty quick. I just love this corset holster. First, holster I ever bought is right here this thing is like I don't even know eight years old it's pretty old but we love her all right we're giving Dean Adams two thumbs up good job Dean Adams okay the next one is another off-body option I don't really consider this off-body because of how tight it's held to my body like the way that it sits on me anyway you guys know I love this bag um, I put it together myself I actually have something in the works praying that that works out. But uh, this is one of the ways that I love to carry the most right now. So let's see how this works in the car. Yeah. All right. Sits on my chest. Gun goes in the back pocket. Someone's texting me. All right, seat belt's here. Bag is underneath. Let's see if I can draw out of the bag while it's on my body, seat belted. I couldn't really do it out of the Ukoala bag, so let's see what happens. That's one reason I love carrying this bag. The gun is just so accessible at all times, in the car, walking around, whatever. My hands are free. Guys, it's just a win-win. Let's give it a couple more tries. La la la, driving down the... Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. All right, so this one is a pass. Love this bag. I also love that I could just like hang my keys off it. It's great. Shoot, we love her. All right, I have one more to show you guys, but I have to change, so give me a second. Okay, the last one I want to show you is a thigh holster with a skirt on or this would be the same for a dress. So with the sticky holster, you've got your regular sticky holster that you could stick in your pocket and your waistband, and you actually stick that inside the thigh holster when it's on your leg. 
So I'm gonna put this on real quick. This is called the guard her belt, like garter belt, get it? Now I could wear this on the inside or outside of my leg. Normally when I carry a gun on my leg, I'm carrying it on the inside of my left leg so I can draw from that side because unless I'm wearing like a very flared out dress where it would conceal fine on the outside of my right leg. So I'm gonna carry on the inside of my left leg just like I normally do and let's see how this goes. All right, I'm gonna do this in such a way where it doesn't flash you. So I'm actually gonna wear it a little lower than I normally would just because this ain't only fans. Okay, so the gun is sitting on the inside of my left leg. This is the guard her belt and it's inside the sticky holster that I've tucked into the guard her belt. So if I was driving with my seatbelt on and I was carrying on my leg, it's totally normal for me and I do this to like lift my skirt or dress up just so that I can get to that gun faster if I need to, especially if you're starting to feel like something's going on where you might need to get to your gun. Um, that's totally cool and one of the advantages of wearing a skirt or a dress. You guys can see that that is a fast draw. <laughs> So you can see how fast that is. I love carrying in a skirt or a dress for, that's just one of the reasons. It's just very quick access to your gun. I hope this video was enlightening to you guys. If you haven't seen the limitations of your gear while you're seated in a car, give it a try. Empty out your gun, um, put your holster on and see what its limitations are. Do you have to maybe adjust your clothing? Do you have to adjust where the holster sits when you're in the car? Is it even just impossible for you to get to your gun? It's important to know these things before you get into a situation, God forbid, where you need to get to your gun and then you can't. So just another reminder, know your gear, know its limitations and be prepared. Um, also, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I come out with my new videos and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.